Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Gary Semex. I'm the guy there in the red hat teaching some riders down at Club MX in South Carolina. And you're going to see these guys out on the track. Um, and I've used a lot of slow motion, freeze frames, repeat frames. So you can see the important techniques that they're pulling off out there. And I will chime in and explain a few things as uh, to explain what you're seeing. But this is just the tip of the iceberg as far as learning the techniques go. If you're serious about really improving your riding techniques, check out my Technique DVDs. You can get free DVD previews, and you can order the DVDs or streams online. And since you're a Thumper Talk member, use this code of TTGSMXS58 and get an additional 10% off. Okay, time for some action. Here's Marshall Welton doing a nice whipper, scrubber whipper off the step up jump. Do a little slow mo here for you. And I'll explain these things a little more from different angles that you're seeing. He gets it in the air, gets it going sideways, and then he returns to a center of balance to bring it back. He has the gyro effect of the spinning forces to help him straighten it out also. And here is. RJ Beck coming up through the rhythm section. That's a third gear section on a 250. Let's see another look at it here. Notice how he is hitting the downsides just right. And as he hits the downsides, he accelerates to continue his speed and uh, make sure he clears the rest of the rhythm sections. Hits on the downside here on the throttle just before he lands, driving forward. Here's Willie Garrison, same section. He's on a 125 there. Oh, George got a little off balance there. Couldn't do the step up. There's uh, Jeffries, Aaron Jeffries from Canada Rider on the KTM. There's his brother Alex Jeffries. Here's RJ again, and I want to point out a mistake he makes here. Coming out of the corner, right back here, we'll do a repeat frame here on it. There he goes through the rollers. Right here, now he accelerates out. Notice how his upper body goes back. That's because he's not pushing down hard enough on the outside foot peg as he exits the corner to keep his head driving forward. The bike is pulling him too hard out of the corner and he gets a little off balance. Just a little subtle thing that you wouldn't really notice watching him ride, but of course, the trained eye sees things like that. He does lay it good into this berm. As far as he's leaning over, he has to get on the throttle. Uh, that's something to, uh, to be aware of in practice. So nice hip jump there. So that you can turn as you're jumping. Here's Kevin, and to be honest with you, I can't remember his last name, but he's a really good A rider. 450 Yamaha there. We'll see some good techniques out of him a little bit later here in this six minute video. Really accelerating down those downsides, absorbing the takeoff of the jump so he stays low and carries a lot of speed through the rhythm section. Does a little scrub there to carry a lot of speed, stay low, and hit his landing target. Here's Marshall Welton again, the guy you saw doing the whip in the beginning of the video. And do some repeat frames here for you to see what's going on. Right here he almost loses the front end, but he turns it just a little bit too much. And you see him dab his foot to catch it and get on the throttle so it doesn't slide out too far. Then here he does a nice seated scrub. And we'll see more of those. It's seated scrubs or standing scrubs. It's all about timing, quickness and twisting the bike on the face of the jump. And you hear Kevin does it, same type of thing. He's really good at that. You'll see it in slow-mo and repeat frames. Right there. See how quick that has to happen? He leans it, turns the front wheel, and slides the wheels off the jump. That way you can carry a lot more speed through the jump, stay low without over-jumping his landing. 
And here is Garrett March Marchbanks, a very fast 80 and super mini rider. We'll see a little more of him later. Here's Marshall again. And notice how he uses the brakes. You can see him use the brakes in the corner there and then release the power. So he's using that brake slide in, power slide out. Very smooth and fast. Lily Garrison again. And that's AJ behind him. Can't remember the name. <laughs> Alex Jeffries again. Gets a good drive out of that corner. Hit that step down. And then step up, of course. There's uh, March Banks again. Lily Garrison again. And here's Marshall. Watch how good of a drive he gets out of this corner. Gets on the gas early and starts steering out around that sweeper with the rear end. That takes a lot of throttle control, balance, waiting that outside peg, keeping his body position right. And then notice how he absorbs the jump. Didn't scrub it, but he absorbed it. That one he's scrubbing. Lean. Lean over right on the face, turn the front wheel, and slide both wheels off. Then you have to maintain your center of balance and pull it back, which is easy to do with the spinning forces, the gyro effect. Kevin again does a nice scrub, seated scrub off of that jump. You can see it in stop action here, slow-mo coming in perfect balance and then flicks the bike down slides the tires off the jump and then maintains the center of balance brings it back straight in the air of course these are advanced techniques takes a lot of time and practice but if you want to learn these things step by step man it's all in my volume 3 series breaks it all down shows you how to start learning and building the techniques in little separate kind of I call them learning blocks one little thing at a time and then when you get that little step down you add another step and another step and that's the way all these guys learn they don't just go out there and naturally tell them that all of a sudden they can do it <laughs> I mean of course not all of a sudden but quickly be able to do it 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 takes little improvements on a weekly basis and um, what my DVDs do is show you the quickest, most effective way to do that. So if you're serious about it, go to my website there, check out the free previews, you will improve.